Hello, good morning my friends. It's Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School and I think the sun might be coming out. Is the sun coming out today? I hope so. It's been so cloudy, right? It's been warm and cloudy at the same time. Totally, totally weird, right? Yeah, I'm thinking about the weather because I want to see the sunshine so much. How are you feeling? What are you thinking about today? Oh, that's pretty cool. Now, before we take a look at the calendar, I just want to mention one more time again to my parents and friends that to get ready for our Zoom classes, let's make sure to sign in all the way, get logged in at five to seven minutes early. That would be perfect. We want a name, first and last name in the corner. Also, if you expand your screen to fit the whole screen, then it's easier to find the icons that we're gonna use, like the breakout rooms, okay? And if you're having any trouble, please give us a call or email as well, that works. And let's take a look at the calendar now, okay? Now, there are how many days in a week? Seven, absolutely. And can you tell me, what is today? Thursday, fantastic. Thursday, today is Thursday. And yesterday was what? Wednesday, yes, yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow will be Friday. That's right, tomorrow will be Friday. And what a lovely day it will be. Now yesterday was the second. So we're gonna move forward one day to the third. Can we move backwards? Nope. Only forward, right? To the third day of, of what month? What month are we in? September, September, that's right. The month of September and the year is 2020. So let's say the date all together here. Today is Thursday. September 3rd, 2020. Awesome job, friends. Now let's sing our phonics song. You ready with me? Okay, awesome. Do you know these letter sounds? Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. Apple, apple, ah, ah, ah. Baby, baby, ba, ba, ba. Cookie, cookie, k, k, k. Dolly, dolly, d, d, d. Elbow, elbow, eh, eh, eh. Flower, flower, Garden, garden, g, g, g. Hammer, hammer. <sighs> igloo, igloo, eh, eh, eh. Jelly, jelly, j, j, j. Kitten, kitten, k, k, k. Lion, lion, o, o, o. Monkey, monkey, mm, mm, mm. Necklace, necklace, mm, mm, mm. Ostrich, ostrich, ah, ah, ah. Pumpkin, pumpkin, p, p, p. Quarter, quarter, qua, qua, qua. Rabbit, rabbit, er, er, er. Scissors, scissors, tiger, tiger, t, t, t. undershirt, undershirt, ah, 
a a vacuum vacuum window window wa 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 x ray x ray x Yo 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 ya 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 zebra zebra z, z, z. awesome job that's our phonics song with our phonics cards and you ready to take a look at a booklet because guess what Miss Kendra forgot about a booklet yesterday so today we have to. Okay, let's take a look at the one that Miss Kendra forgot. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Miss Kendra made a mistake. Oops, I forgot something. Should I be so upset over it? No, why not? Sometimes we make a mistake, and when we make a mistake, we can try to fix it and try to do better, right? Yeah, we don't have to get upset with ourselves. We don't have to be mad at ourselves. We can fix it, or we can make it better and remember next time. I'm not gonna do that again, right? Yeah, we don't have to be upset. And life is good. Okay, so let's take a look at our booklet three of my consonant vowel consonant booklets. So here I'm gonna put my name down at the bottom. Miss Kendra. And the date is nine three twenty. And this is the start date. When we're all done, we put that date here when we finish. So I'm gonna open up this and let's see our first page. So there's no black color around this, so it's not an x-ray. We're looking at this picture is of this. What are these? These are your ribs, rib, is that right? Now, do you see the beginning sound of rib? Er, I, b, rib, er, i. We're missing a letter here. What letter are we missing here? Yeah, that's right. And what sound does it make? I, I, I. Thank you. Let's put our letter I. I, er, I, b, rib. Good job. Okay, and I want my friends to finish these later. We're not going to finish all of them right now. We're going to get started and finish later. Let's do one more from this booklet three. This is. What's going on here? What are they doing? It's dig, yeah, they're digging. The shovel is used to dig. Dig, now we're missing a letter here. D, I, G. What sound are we missing? D, I, G, dig, I. That's right, our letter I. I. D. I. G. Dig. And we're going to write that below on the next line. Right? And when we're all done, we can come back and give it some color. The booklet for today is booklet four. My consonant, vowel, consonant, Booklet four, okay? So let's get started on our booklet four. We're gonna put our names at the bottom. My name 
is Miss Oliver? What? No, Miss Kendra. Miss Kendra. Okay, and it is the third. Now, let's see here. I see lots of pictures. What is this? A pot, yes it is. Yeah, what do you think is in that pot? Some soup? Some stew? Maybe. Our word down here is missing a sound. Let's see. P -a -t. Can you say that with me? What are we missing? P -a -t. What letter can we put there? What makes a? Like ostrich. P -a -t. Ah. Our letter O. Let's trace. P ah. T. Okay, and then we'll write pot on the line below. P ah. T. Pot. Awesome. Now let's see one on the next page. How about. This one, this catches my eye because it's so bright. I love the color green. What word is this? It's not, it's not grass. I don't see g, g here. I see a s, d. This is sod, sod, s, a, d. What are we missing here? Ah, ah. Yes, our letter O makes that sound. Let's trace. S, ah, d. Sod. And we can write sod, ah, d, on the line below here. And we're at home, we're gonna finish all of them, right? Not so fast, we're gonna take our time, but we're gonna get through all of them. Oh, our little friend. Is she feeling happy? Oh man, she is not feeling happy. No, you're right. What is she doing? Yeah, she is crying. And when we cry like this, we can call it sob. This is a sob. I'm so sorry about that. No, she was my friend and I could talk to her. Maybe we could say, excuse me, I'm Miss Kendra. What's your name? Are you okay? Well, right now I cannot reach her. So let's think about the word sob. What do you hear? What's missing here? S-a-b. S-a-a-b. Do we need a b? S b b. A. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I'll put my letter O. S a b. She is sobbing. S a b. Let's trace. S a b. And on the line below, we write. S Ah, b, sob, sob. Awesome job, friends. Now you go ahead and stay right here. I have some words about my friends I want to share with you. These words are in Spanish. So let's write our names up top first. And something really, really cool about Spanish, right? There's, it's different than English, right? And it's different than sign language. Languages have lots of different things from each other. And 
Spanish is really neat. It's really cool. They have words. Um, they have words. Some of them are for girls and some of them are for boys. So when we say, this is my friend who is a girl, we say a different word than if we say, this is my friend, a boy. So for a friend that is a girl, we say amiga. Amiga. Can you try that? Amiga. Very good. And if we have a friend that is a boy, we say amigo. 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 You try? Amigo. Very good. That's right. And if we have so many friends, boys and girls, amigos, amigos. So many friends, amigos. Yeah, that's right. There's so many friends, they are amigos. And how do we get friends? What do we need to do to get some friends? Can we say, do you want to be my friend? Do you want to be my friend? And in Spanish, how do we say that? How do we say, do you want to be my friend? I can tell you right here. It is. We can say, quieres ser mi amigo. Can you say that fast? Let's practice. Quieres, quieres, very good. Ser, ser mi amigo. Good job, all together. Quieres ser mi amigo. Very good job. And we have these papers to trace and write these phrases. And in this box is for an amiga. So what are we gonna draw in this box? A girl, that's right. And this box is for an amigo. What are we gonna draw in this box? A boy, that's exactly right. You guys are the best. And this sentence here says, ¿Quieres ser mi amigo? Do you want to be my friend? Yes, yes I want to be your friend. I would give anything to be your friend. On our next page is amigos. That's when we have lots of friends. Boys and girls, we're hanging out together. My amigos, mi amigos, you say that? Amigos. And the sentence under here says, do you want to play with me? Is that something we say to our friends? Do you want to play with me? Yeah? In Spanish, we say, quieres jugar conmigo? Okay, let's practice that. Quieres? Good job, jugar. Conmigo. Conmigo. Quieres jugar conmigo. Migo. Mm. Quieres jugar conmigo. Hey! Do you want to play with me? Yeah. So we know amiga is a friend that is a girl. Amigo, a friend that is a boy. Amigos, so many friends. So what are we gonna draw in this box? So many friends, exactly right. And we can trace our sentences. Do you want to be my friend? Quieres ser mi amigo? Or do you want to play with me? Quieres jugar con mi amigo? Conmigo. Quieres jugar conmigo. We'll keep practicing. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, now something I really like to do with mi amigos is sing songs. You like to sing songs with your amigos? 
Talk your chair first, Miss Kendra. Yeah, you like to sing songs with your amigos? Okay, let's do it. Let's sing a song with our amigos right now. How about our friend song? Yeah? <clears throat> okay, let's do it. Ready? Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and hop around with me and hop around with me? Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and dance around with me and dance around with me? Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and wiggle around with me and wiggle around with me? Nice wiggles! Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and clap around with me and clap around with me? Awesome! Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and turn around with me and turn around with me? Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and say hooray with me? Hooray! Awesome job! Did you hop around with me? Did you dance? Did you wiggle? You did? Okay, fantastic! Let's go take a look at our next worksheet, okay? Okay, so this worksheet is our math worksheet. Let's go ahead and you know what? Let's use our, our team board and our mats. Sounds good? Okay, I'm gonna put this back until I'm ready to get it. I'm gonna get my two mats first, walking feet. And we're gonna put this tall mats. One more. So with our team board materials, it's pretty big, so I need two mats. Always with my two hands and walking feet. Friends, should I? I need my worksheet. Should I put my job on my tray and take it together? Oh, no. No. I would hate to spill it. That's not, not my great idea. I will, one thing at a time, get my things together. And I know that I will need colors and a pencil. So, I'm gonna leave my worksheet here so that I have it when I'm ready. Now, when we look at this, in our worksheet, we can see that we have our numbers, our symbols, our beads, quantity, and we got a blank spot over here. So we are gonna be making teens using the teen board, okay? So let's focus and move slowly so that we can respect these materials. The 
Do you see these numbers here? What number is that? That's right. So let's stay real close over here and let's now take out our symbols. These are what we use to represent how much is there. Now, what comes after 10, right? One more than 10. We can use our single red B. That is one. Ten and one. Ten and one is eleven. Now ten and two is 12. Ten and three is 13. Ten and four is fourteen. Ten and five is fifteen. Ten and six is sixteen. Ten and seven is seventeen. Ten and eight is eighteen. Ten and nine is nineteen. Now, when we see our worksheets, we can match it to our board, right? 10 gold beads, and I'm gonna use, first I'm gonna put my name. So gold beads today for Miss Kendra will be orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm gonna color my 10 bar. And then my single unit is just one. What color is that? Red, that's right. So we make the teens using the teen board. This is our teen board for home. Count the beads and write the missing number, which is 
10 and 1 is, yeah, 11. Okay? And we're going to keep going all the way down. And maybe we're thinking, oh, Miss Kendra, I know how to count like this. I've done this before. And that's really awesome. This is going to be really cool practice for you. And you know what? While we're learning like this with our Montessori materials and practicing these colors, learning about quantity and symbols, we are able to build in our brain bigger and bigger ideas because we are gonna be able to think about numbers with colors and quantity and symbols, okay? So don't worry too much if you feel like, oh, I know these numbers. This is gonna be really awesome practice for our brains, for your big, big, wonderful brains. And yesterday, Miss Kendra was off her game a little bit and forgot about some subtraction too. So I want my friends to practice some subtraction at home as well. And this is really fun to do with counters. Okay, now I need to clean up my materials. So that's really important for me to do. Can you tell me, can you tell me the first one? What is two minus one? Yeah, you can use your fingers, right? What is two minus one? Yeah, it's one, exactly right. And what is two minus two? Yeah, how about three minus two? Can you use your fingers? What is three minus two? One, exactly right. And what is, let's look at another one. So we know this is one, we know this is one. How about five minus two? Five, and you take away two, how much is left? Five minus two. And we're minus, we're subtracting, we're taking away. Five minus two, one, two, three. Five minus two is three. And what's another one? How about one from the page from today? How about Six minus three. Can you take out six fingers and minus three? How many do we have left? Three. You guys are fantastic. Can I ask you one more? What is seven minus four? Seven minus four. Can you tell me? Yeah, you can think. Use your fingers. Seven fingers out, take away four fingers. What? Say it again. What is seven minus four? Yes! Seven minus four, seven minus four, one, two, three. We found a lot of threes in our answers, huh? Good job, friends. Let's finish our subtraction practice later. And I'm gonna take this back to my table because I can't roll the mat if there's something on it. So I'm gonna take this back to the table. Or I'm gonna take my pencils back to the table and put my worksheet back to the shelf where it belongs. 
Can't forget about my mat. It's still over there. Roll, roll, pull. Roll, roll, pull. Roll, roll. Ready to go. Walking feet. Awesome. So, our last worksheet looks like this. It's got a big box on it. So let's see here, what are these directions? All right, first we put our name up top and then we read the directions. Why do we read directions? They're gonna tell us what we're supposed to do. These directions say, talk about what you do with your friends and draw pictures. Okay, what kind of things do you guys do with your friends? Playing? Yeah, what do you play with? Toys? Yes, I know you play with toys. What kind of toys do you like best? You have any favorite toys? Yeah, do you play that with your friends? That's so cool. I really like to do lots of different things with my friends. Sometimes I like to eat a pizza. Do you like to eat pizza with your friends? You do? Okay, I'm gonna draw eating pizza. So I'm gonna draw a pizza. Important part of eating pizza is to have the pizza. And this is going to be a mouth. Okay. Where's the nose gonna be? There. Those are teeth. Chin. Ear. <laughs> okay, look, it's eating pizza. I like to eat pizza with my friends. And I also like to dance. Do you like to dance with your friends? Yeah, this is what my dancing looks like. Can you, can you imagine it? Here's my music box. And I like to dance with my friends. Now I made some small pictures so that I could color lots of things on here because I like to do so many things with my friends. Do you like to do so many things with your friends? You do? Do you also like to eat pizza and dance with your friends too? <gasps> oh, I hope we can do that together sometime. But I have a really awesome thing to show you. Do you remember when we cleaned the leaves of that plant? When we took care of our environment? You remember that? I have something really cool to show you. Let me tuck my chair and show you how that plant is doing. Because we know about anything that is living like you and me and animals and plants, if we treat them kindly, they will grow and bloom and be really happy. Let's see how this plant is doing. You remember this plant? I'm gonna sit down because I would hate to drop this plant. We washed a few of these leaves and now there is a new leaf. Come look close. Look at that beautiful new leaf. It's a little baby leaf. It's so cute. And soon, when it gets a little bigger, we can clean that leaf too. And we can watch for some more new leaves. Are you excited? I'm so excited to see a new leaf. Little baby leaf. 
You guys, that's awesome and that's really awesome, wonderful news when we get new leaves and new life and things are so wonderful. I had so much fun talking about our friends and what we like to do, some Spanish with mi amigos. Yeah? Okay, you guys have a wonderful Thursday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.